Clarks was motivated to um, get involved with employment programs uh, for people with disabilities as a, as a result of a relationship that we established a long time ago with Triangle, which is a non-for-profit agency in Malden, Massachusetts. Um, that relationship uh, goes back almost 15 years now. Uh, and about midway through that relationship, we decided that it was time for us to, to further develop the partnership and, and start working with participants. Um, and um, we developed um, an internship program um, in collaboration with, with Triangle and a few other people to make sure that uh, we were ready and prepared to uh, embrace uh, a few of their participants to come in and work at Clark's. Uh, we were fortunate uh, when we started the internship program because we met a very uh, special individual, a couple of people who are still with our company today after about seven years, uh, to help us put together the program. The person, one of the people that we hired was Henry Winkleman, who has really been instrumental in helping us. Um, came into our group uh, through uh, a, a few hours a week uh, internship program and now uh, works uh, as part of a uh, retail, one of our retail employees coordinating construction and development of new stores. Um, one, of the, um, one of the reasons why I think the internship program has worked for Clarks is that uh, it's just an example of the kind of culture that we have. I mean, our, our, our company's been built on giving people at all levels opportunities based on what we thought they could do and not based on necessarily any proven skills or any proven background. And I think um, uh, the people that we've met through the internship program have uh, proven that it's more important to focus on an ability than focus on conditioning people to uh, uh, think about what they can't do. So I, I think that's, you know, that's why the program fits at Clark's and one of the reasons why we've been successful in, in evolving the program over the last seven years. We've been uh, asked to speak about uh, the Clark's internship program, which we call the First Step program, to other businesses. And uh, I've been out and a few of the other people in the company have been out. And, and we like to introduce the program to other businesses. And, and we open our doors up to other businesses to come in and visit us. And we will work closely with other businesses to actually employ our interns. Uh, and we don't, we don't look for other businesses to even guarantee employment, uh, because I don't think that's a very authentic uh, condition. What we look for from other employers is to just open their minds up a little bit and start coming from the place we were at. And our, our preconceived notion seven, eight years ago about uh, people with disabilities and what they were capable of is completely different than what it is today. And, and we try to bring other companies along by bringing them to Clark's, seeing what our environment's like, providing them any materials that we can provide them from our program and working very closely with them to hire interns when they're willing to interview the interns. And that's all, again, I ask for is just an interview because I'm, I'm certain once they interview our interns that the intern gets the job. I think businesses, um, you, businesses that you talk to, and you probably won't find any in our, in our room today here that, that have this notion, but most businesses don't understand um, the, con the condition or the capabilities of a so-called person with disability. And I really don't even like the term disability because it sets people up for a preconceived notion that's completely wrong. Um, I, I, uh, I think one of the things that we've done so effectively, unintentionally, is condition businesses and people to focus on, again, what people can't do. I mean, when I send my resume to an employer and I haven't done it in 15 years, I don't point out my weaknesses. Yet when somebody comes into us and is a person uh, with a disability, we're already starting to focus on the wrong thing. So I think businesses are there, and, and, and most businesses that are successful don't even want to be there. They want to have an open mind, and they want to see beyond that obvious condition and, and do what they do all day long when they hire somebody, and that's they look inside, they look at what the kind of uh, uh, commitment that person is going to have, their passion, their work ethic, and, and they, don't, they don't measure the person by an exterior condition, not successful businesses. So what we're doing is nothing more than recruiting the way we normally recruit. And if I can get businesses to understand that and just dip their toe in the water and try it a few times, they'll see that they've completely missed the segment of the population that when you bring them into your organization, um, you know, and I hate to differentiate, but what we find is that people are so grateful to have a chance to work. Their sense of entitlement is non-existent. They bring something to the culture that, that is completely qualitative 
and the value they bring to the organization is far beyond anything we know how to measure in terms of accounting profits or pure economics. It, it's important to get the leadership of any organization committed to uh, being more open about who they're employing, and that includes employing people with disabilities. Um, you know, again, I'll go back to um, working. You know, one way to do that is working with leadership to open their minds up and help them understand, just again, like any other initiative you might have in an organization, when you have to change the way we think in an organization from, from one part of the equation to, to another part of the equation, you start to, um, you start to expose these leaders to organizations that are working with people with disabilities. You start to expose these leaders to people with disabilities. And, and you start to actually realize that we all have disabilities. It's just somebody drew a line somewhere to decide all these disabilities you don't have to talk about and these ones you do. And when you start to expose good leadership to the idea that um, you know, most people are very similar and we focus too much on the, the, the dissimilarities, Good leaders focus on similarities, and that's, that's what's inside, that's that passion, that's that work ethic. When you work with the leadership and you do that, they can also see that this is very commercial. This, is a, this makes very good business sense to find good employees that can add value to your organization. So you know, what we try to do is expose Triangle, for example, or some of the other agencies we work with to these leaders. You know, we don't do it to raise money. We do it to raise friends and awareness. And when you raise friends and awareness, great things fall out of that. The checks will flow from that. The attendance at a golf outing, the attendance at the dinner, but more importantly, connecting with participants from that organization will flow out of that. And then we have one more business in the state, in the country, who's doing what Clark's and places like IBM and Adeco and Walgreens and TJX are all doing. We have so many success stories in our company because you know, our culture is built on caring for people and when you care for people, the profits almost just fall out because so many people in your organization care about the organization. Um, as far as the internship program goes, you know, some, it's hard to pick one success story, but just recently we had an individual get a job with Home Depot and call us to say, I couldn't have gotten this job without my experience at Clark's. Or the individual that came up to me a few weeks after starting the internship program and say, for the first time in my life, I'm looking forward to coming to work. I've got a job, I've got a paycheck, I'm working with great people, but most importantly, I found my self-confidence again. And I looked around and I thought maybe somebody was scripting this person. And nobody was there scripting this person. This person had just come up to me to share a really authentic experience. And, and, and that, actually, you might think it's a success story for the individual, but it's a success story for the company because what this program really does in the end is more for the company than the participant. It nurtures that culture. But we have, you know, we, we've gone over the last seven years very slowly with this program. A couple of interns every six months. Every one is a success story. Some of them work for Clark's. Some of them work for Citizens Bank, Bank of America, Home Depot. And, and they're all calling us saying thank you. And that's the success story for us.